up everybody? We are at the California Science Center. So here to celebrate a good friend of mine. His name is Pablo and his wife Becky. And uh, we're excited to see all the stuff this place has for us to play with because both of us haven't been here in a long time. And hopefully you can give it a visit yourself very soon. That's so cool. We're about to watch Pablo take a little flight simulator VR experience and uh, high probability that he might be throwing up soon. So I have the camera ready. I'm ready to catch whatever happens next. Well, display. Good job, you got a high score. In your future house, yeah. it's gonna have one of those. A better one. <laughs> I remember when uh, the Endeavor came through LA. So it's not here anymore? I think it is. I think it's out in the back. We have to go down the And landed over in LAX. Down Manchester. Up Crenshaw. Down Martin Luther King. And ended up here. Just like an elevator pod. Getting you about fire safety, I guess? Why is California burning? Don't do that, kids. Good doggy. Cuando salgas, no regreses a buscar. dog is also bilingual. In a fire, get out fast and tell a firefighter that I'm inside. Si hay un incendio, sal rápido y diles a los bomberos que estoy adentro. The fire alarm tampered with the... What's up, Vince? Hello, what's your Daniel? Hi. 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 Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Say, say hi. I see penguins. Oh. I like this room. My camera does not like this room. Right, we're doing Endeavor. This is the fuel cell that collected the water once the combustion happened and they were able to drink from it. Pretty cool. Food dehydrator and oven. Whoa, mission control. 
Let's go. Here we go. That is awesome. Looks insane. Oh my gosh. Can't even fit it in the frame. There's the nose. And it's very impressive in person. It is massive. The Space Shuttle's main engines, SSMEs, work together with the solid rocket boosters to push the shuttle from launch pad to orbit. Powered by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen from the large orange external tank, the three SSMEs propelled the shuttle with over one and a half million pounds of thrust. When the SSMEs finished firing eight and a half minutes after launch, their work for the entire shuttle mission was done. The external tank that fed propellants to the SSMEs detached from the orbiter and fell into the ocean. After the orbi orbiters returned to Earth, the SSMEs were removed for service, and because the SSMEs could be swapped between orbiters, NASA maintained nine engines ready to fly on any launch day, three for the shuttle to be launched, three for an alternate orbiter in case of a rescue mission was needed, and three to use as spares. A total of 51 SSMEs flew over the course of the shuttle program, 35 of them on Endeavour. Fun fact, the energy released by three SSMEs is equal to the output of 13 Hoover dams. That's insane. What do you think? Well, I was like, what you Wonderful yeah. idea, man. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Yeah, here, go get him with daddy. I think this is one of the coolest uh, exhibits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Get in there. Come out. And then once the sand the ocean is set up there. I think it's massive. All up and running ready to go back. I know this is so forest. The shrimps. Extreme zone. Oh, this is the top of the top. Let's go. Open that door. Oh, this is Ooh, this is very extreme.
PT-94. Yeah, the thing, there's quite a view from right here. All right, I think we truly finished the museum this time around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what'd you guys think? It's so fun. 10 thumbs up. What was, uh, what was your favorite part of the museum? Probably a tie between the like aquarium part and then Endeavor. Yeah, same. Yeah, I'd say the Endeavor was pretty cool. Just the scale of it. It's really immense. And the aquarium, where all the jellyfish, the giant fish that we couldn't identify. But this place is totally worth it. It's completely free. It's a $15 parking fee. That's it. But it's open to the public. You should definitely check it out. I think we're gonna exit through the gift shop here. And I think we spent, what, like three and a half hours. And we felt like we saw most of what we wanted to see. The only reason you might stay here longer is if I guess you took some of the rides or watched some of the IMAX films, but totally doable after lunch and before dinner. So check it out. We're gonna sign off here in the gift shop and we'll see you soon. We'll always be able to find you no matter what. Get a little spaceman on your back. As long as I get a, like a leash. <laughs>